In the late 1930s, invasive armies spread across Europe, Asia, and the Pacific Ocean like a fast-moving storm. For a while it appeared that they would spread across the globe unchecked, engulfing everything in their path. Half a century later, in a pristine segment of post-glacial forest called Eggers Grove on the southeast side of Chicago, a similar invasion took place as garlic mustard overran and threatened to completely eliminate native species that had sustained the forest for millennia. As Allied forces had been initially overwhelmed by the Axis invaders of World War II, so too were residents of Chicago's southeast side initially overwhelmed by the environmentally unfriendly invaders. But like that Allied force in the vast war, the residents regrouped in environmental organizations like the Calumet Ecological Park Association, learning the strengths and weaknesses of the invasives and the needs of the native species, organizing combat forces to take the initiative from the enemy. And like the Allies in that now distant war, the environmental groups have taken the initiative and have begun to reclaim the field, in this case, literally. A few years ago, Eggers Grove Forest Preserve had become overrun by invasives, especially the vigorous garlic mustard plant. The combat team assigned to defeat that invader was fielded by the Calumet Ecological Park Association, its field commander being SEPA member John Pasterick. Since that time, Pasterick has marshaled his forces each year in Eggers Grove in a campaign that begins in late April and runs through May. This video shows moments from the event on April 27th. Here, at the outset, the team was searching for the remnants of invasives, which they have effectively reduced to scattered outposts, fighting a last-ditch attempt to regain the initiative. The early moments of the video show members searching for any signs of enemy presence until, surprisingly, they discover a hidden stronghold just behind the tree line that dominates this video. Had they not made this discovery, the invasives would have had a good chance of regaining a foothold in Eggers Grove. Now, thanks to that determined opening event, the SEPA volunteers will continue to eliminate the last vestiges of invasive presence, having effectively restored the native species to Eggers Grove. But for SEPA, the message is clear. Monitoring the site must be an ongoing commitment.